Suganth Kanan is the president and CEO of Math for Us, LLC, and that's a big capital U.S. there. It's a company offering services in biotechnology, mathematical modeling, forecasting methods, and business consulting. He has organized a symposium at the Florida excuse me, Entomological Society, easy for me to say, <laughs> and he has presented papers and chaired international conferences. His goal is to improve the quality of discoveries by scientists and mathematicians by providing for them solutions to their problems and the bottlenecks that they, fail, that they face. This will permit them to focus on their research and their creativity with a little bit more focus. And here's the big impressive part about that pretty amazing introduction. He's 15 years old, and he's getting his microphone on right now. So it's a really great pleasure to have Saganth here to share with us. So how about a big hand for Saganth Kanan as he's coming up. I'm Saganth Kanan, the president and CEO of Math for US LLC. In Sanskrit, Mata, Pita, Guru, Devata. Mother, Father, Teacher, God. The order in which one should give reverence. I will be taking this opportunity to celebrate my educators who have transformed me into the person I am today. My company, math for us provides mathematical modeling services of data for schools, school districts, corporations, and universities. We conduct unique pattern recognition analysis and provide an innovative perspective for our clients, substantially improving their performance. We see what our clients cannot see in their data, providing a strategic plan. The first educator I would like to celebrate is my second grade teacher, Ms. Iberanda, who developed my presentation skills and made me comfortable in front of a large audience. She identified my quick learning ability and recommended that I accelerate to fifth grade from second grade. Thank God my parents rejected the idea, <laughs> wanting me to enjoy my childhood. She had me take an IQ test, and I placed in the top 1% in the nation, and was selected to attend the Center for Talented Youth at John Hopkins University, where I conducted biological research at the age of eight. Two of my inspirations are Albert Einstein, for developing the special theory of relativity, and Benjamin Franklin for creating the first post office in our nation. They were able to envision what others could not visualize at the time. They both have white hair, and I'm starting to see one. <laughs> My seventh grade science teacher Ms. Page introduced me to a variety of fields in the life sciences, got interested in entomology. When my dad returned from a trip to New York, covered with bed bugs, bed bug bites all over his body, I became interested in finding an environmentally friendly solution for bed bug eradication. I tested daily organic waste from kitchens and developed a method that worked better than several pesticides. I had my method tested at the University of Florida and was adopted by several pest control companies. The Florida Entomology Society invited me to organize and moderate a symposium on bed bug eradication at their annual meeting. I invited researchers from around the country, pest control companies, and policymakers to discuss and present about bed bug eradication. 
I also received my first research grant, and I cherish it very much. In 2010, I attended a music camp in Baltimore, Maryland, and experienced my first earthquake. It was startling. <laughs> and I'm sure many of you have experienced that, being California, the earthquake hotspot. Being a scientist, groomed as a scientist by my educators, I developed a mathematical model for earthquake prediction presented my findings at an international conference in The Hague, Netherlands, and published my paper in a peer-reviewed Elsevier journal. I was appointed the committee member of an international earth science conference. And as per the suggestion of Professor Liefer, a leading geoscientist, I conducted an in-depth study of the California region and predicted last year's Napa Valley earthquake within 50 miles. As part of the conference, recognizing the need to motivate young students in science, I organized a poster contest for over 50,000 San Francisco middle school students and awarded prizes. I owe my chess success to my educator, Grandmaster Kidumbi. I'm the former US Open K-12 chess champion. As Florida State champion, I represented my state in the Champion of Champions tournament. I attended a neuroscience course where I was introduced to Dr. Charles Golden, a leading expert in the field of neuropsychology. Under his tutelage, I conducted research and identified neuropsychological markers differentiating anxiety and ADHD in school-aged children. After winning school, regional, and state science fairs, I became a finalist at the Intel International Science and Engineering Fair, where I presented to and had deep discussions with multiple Nobel laureates. My company negotiated and signed a contract with New England Biolabs, a pioneer in the field of biotechnology, where I directly worked with the Nobel laureate Sir Richard Roberts, developing a computational model for diagnosis of cancer and cardiovascular disease for personalized medicine. The important thing to remember is, as Swami Vivekananda said, society does not go down because of the activities of criminals, but because of the inactivity of good people. As good people, we must find our purpose in the world and serve the community. My name is Marie Lim, and I'm the founder and the president of Horse and Petting Pal Interaction. Happy Farm, and I'm here today to talk about Sugan Cannon, who started volunteering for us approximately three years ago. An extremely responsible, highly motivated, wonderfully spirited volunteer, at 13 years old, Sugan was assisting Happy Farm to reach the next level from where we were. With leadership skills, he helped start our thinking and focus toward writing for grants. He made us have a great social media presence and introduced Happy Farm to many of the universities, which led to our 
increased interaction with universities as he paved our way to teaching university students. Suganth expanded our outreach efforts and recruited many volunteers, creating the awareness of the need to care for animals, as well as our therapeutic services provided to people with special needs. Suganth organized a one-day fundraiser event, raised over $1,000, and bought a beautiful large canopy tent to provide a shaded area for our animals, students, and volunteers alike. We wish Suganth the best in all his future endeavors. I'm sure he'll keep in touch with us because of his love for the animals and caring of humanity. The important thing to take from serving the community is that life is a balancing act. I gain money through my company and I become happy and energetic by serving the community. As founding chairman of Chick-fil-A Leadership Academy, I organized a fun day at Happy Farm, raised over $1,000 and bought a canopy tent to provide shade for the animals. I created a public-private partnership inviting the vice mayor and the principal of my school for the ribbon cutting ceremony. Thank you for being part of TEDx Ritter Park Drive. I would like to thank this, take this opportunity to thank all my educators from my heart. I would like to thank Ms. Larson for providing me with the opportunity to speak in front of you all. Can we take a few minutes to discuss together and enrich our knowledge? Any questions? Thank you. <laughs>